Creep Squad, <laughs> Peter Gunn. Wait, wait, do that intro again. Nobody <laughs> never introduced me like that. I'm always introduced as the sexiest, scumbag, the most dirtbag. Fantastic. Oh, uh, thank you. Part of Creep Squad, obviously. I had to mention that part. <laughs> Those it can't are my be boys, you man. if it's not Creep Squad. Right. They had to be on the show with you though. But I Those love to have you on your own. Thank you. Yeah, my, you know. I don't want to share. My mother hates Creep Squad. She hates I bet she does. Yeah. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a little. Boy. How'd you get that name? Besides the fact of the obvious. <laughs> well, we're creeping around, cheating, and doing, you know, doing dumb shit. We just started calling that, calling the Creep Squad, and it was just, just a little. It's really just funny, a little, you know, a little boys' crew. Even though we old, our little crew, and people take it so seriously. Oh, y'all too old to be calling yourselves creeps. I think we got the longest. Donkey of the day from uh, Charlemagne for being the creep squad, but you're only as old as you feel, though. Yeah, and it's all in it's all in fun. I'm not saying we but that I'm proud of some of the things I've done, but it's just all in fun. But I'm sure you don't regret it. Like I know, I some, some things I wish I could have done di- differently, but like you know, what? Um, it's all out in the open. Your life. <laughs> well, you know, if you if you if someone had done to me what I've done to to my kid's mom. I probably would, you know, it probably went a different way. So I got to look at it that way. If you don't want that done to you, then you got to be careful right. what you do to other people. So just the line, I think mostly growing, you know, getting older, you learn that. Just be honest. And this is what it is. I don't know how to be with one woman. I just like, I love women. I love Are different people. Now? Yeah. I'm, I'm better than I used to be. I'm st- it's still a work in progress. <laughs> this, is, this is years and years of lying that I'm trying to you know, curve. Are you going to get married again? Um... I want to. Do you? Eventually, one day. Yeah, a real. A Are you going to be faithful? I want a real wedding, a real big wedding with my whole family there. Yeah, I want to get married. And yeah, I want to be faithful. At this age, it's time to chill, you know. So, did you and Cisco meet it up? We cool. You know, Cisco's, the, the, Cisco's like the bad little brother that just just can't get it, always get it together and always wants to do something to try to get your attention. So, you never know. You know, we, we boxed. I thought yes, we got it. I out. heard about that. How did that go? I beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Even though he said you he see, was. my wrist is still hurting. He can say what he did. He can say what he wants. But if you watch the fight, you have to be Stevie Wonder to not know who won that fight. Like, oh, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> so how are you on Cheaters being known as the Creep Squad? I just have to know. My manager, right? Uh, the the, the, the uh, host of Cheaters... Before me was a, a was Clark Gable the third, which is right. the legendary Clark Gable right. legend, his grandson. He was the host of Cheaters, and he passed away. Um, um, very young, thirty one, rest in oh, peace wow. to him. That and I guess crazy. it came across the screen, and my manager ended up emailing the show. And didn't even tell me this. He emailed the show and said, "You know what I think would be funny if Peter Guns was the host of your show." So Bobby Goldstein, the CEO, owner of the show, older Jewish gentleman. Saw the email. She was all the best. <laughs> and went to his staff and said, you guys know somebody named Peter Guns? He wants to host the show. And his whole staff went crazy. Get him. If you can get him, get him. And he flew me to Dallas. And we, we talked. And the rest is history. I'm the host so what was the worst thing you've seen on Cheaters? I'm sure you've seen funny, worst, every kind of experience. Um, You know... Worst is it was a dude that was just hand happy, like he like beat on his girl, and I wasn't aware of, of his abuse until we started shooting, and I noticed I was jumping and, and scared. Oh no! And then when I, I pulled it to the side, that. she said, "Yo, he broke my ribs before and this and that." And it Holy just shit. it changed me from being in the mood I was in as a host to becoming like a little more aggressive towards him. Like, yeah, do that to me. Right, and, so and you'll see it on, of like a female. and it plays out on TV. It's one of the biggest ones that I've, I've done. Everybody talks about it because I was like, "Yo, I, won't you put your hands on the man?" And no, and he, he was like, "I would. I'll put my hands on the man too. What's up?" I said, "So let's go." 
right there on the screen. Let's go. Let's see how this works out for you. What you going to do? Oh, you'll see. And if you pull up that episode, uh, you know, I asked him if, if you I want all the smoke. And I told security, give us five minutes, three minutes, whatever you can give us. And I'll, and I'll show him the difference between me and a woman. Right. That was the scariest. The funniest ones would be uh, dudes just, you know, just when they get caught, just the lies they come up with. It's and I'm not like, me. Yeah, you know, <laughs> finally I'm like, damn, somebody else. And, I'm, and they always call me out. Guns. You the biggest cheat in the world. What you doing? I saw that. Yeah, I get called out all the time. You got memes about that and everything. No, every episode someone says, how you hosting cheating? How you doing this and you? Yo, bro, it's your time to shine. (laughs) It's not mine. (laughs) I'm just doing my job, you know? So I tell most people, like, they say, how you end up with the job? So, you know, when football players and basketball players retire, you see them on CNN hosting. I'm a retired cheater. I'm hosting cheaters. Basically, how'd you get on Love and Hip Hop, though? Um, Rich Dallas was a good friend of mine was on the show. Okay. And he wanted me to come in and shoot a scene with him. You know, he was managing an uh, artist named Erica Mena. So he wanted to play some music. So he wanted to play some music and get my opinion about the music. And I, and I automatically... Trash the song. I remember that singing. episode. Sorry, I'm obsessed with love and hip hop because I'm like, oh my god, that's my life. At that point, it was right, my life. Right. So she didn't like that. She cursed me out, and they liked the way I looked on screen and the way I went about things. He doesn't like you. A lot You're of people don't like me. Fun. A lot of people don't like me. Oh, <laughs> You're so sweet. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I'm drinking, drinking. I'm mm. drinking. Truly, it has alcohol in it. Listen, I should be interviewing you with these rolling papers, <laughs> these sexy ass yeah, rolling papers. Yeah, but this papers. is about Pierre Guns. They don't want to know about me. They want to know about you. Y'all sure hey, want to know. Y'all sure want to know about. We're rock star. <laughs> and the Hello. fragrance Ooh. that's for you. God, I'm ready to spray up. Yes, it, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love. So I love. It. I'm proud of you. Your own show, Studio Thank Square. This you. is dope. Mind you, I this haven't seen amazing. him in a minute. In a minute. And then, like, we've been trying to, like, catch up and stuff, but, like, yeah. with our schedules, it's been hard. So, I'm happy that you're on today. I'm glad and hopefully, to you're not going to be a stranger. Never. I'm a friend of this show. I'll be here yes. on and on and on. I tell you, I was Don't turn to me. It was a good time. I'm going to take you up on that offer. <laughs> How'd you deal yeah. with all the groupies, though? I mean... <sighs> I'm just at a different Let me come back to you now, huh? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. In the 90s, when I had a hit record out, I was groupie happy. Okay. Um, now, at my age now, I'm looking at, oh, my God, she looks like my daughter. This is my, you know, I'm in <laughs> clubs now. I'm like, oh, my God, my daughter's, you know, this is her age. She's in college. And then my other daughter. So I'm, I'm more selective about where I go and what I do now. I'm just at How age. do you differentiate between a groupie and somebody that, you know, genuine, genuinely likes you for you? It's hard because, you know, if you if I meet a woman in the club and she saw how I moved on on a, on a TV show and she know I got all these kids, in my mind, I'm like, so you really want to be with a, with a guy my age with this amount of kids and stuff you saw on TV if I was just regular? Right, other if I was regular, TV, so small. I just assume most women that come at me that way, unless you get to know me. Like, to me, if we... If, if we was, if you didn't like me and we hung out or you was around me enough and you say, you know what, he's not who I thought he was and you got to know me, that's right. different. But to just come up to me in a club and, and start like, so what's up? When, you know, I, that's, that's creepy to me. So do you prefer relationships or one night stands? Both. Depends on the, uh, depends on the situation. If I'm depends single, on your mood. If I'm a single, I'm a grown man. If, I'm, if, you wanna be, if we can be grown and, and, and you know, because, you know, if, Sometimes that's what it is. If we being grown and we understand what it is, but you know, that's in the single life. But right now, I don't, I don't ever do the one night stand thing at the, at, anymore. You know? But you don't consider a girl a whore if she fucks you on the first date. No. Because a lot of people do, and I'm just like, why? We're both well, grown. Like, then I'm a whore too. Right. And like, we if we want it, we want it. Like, Some, you know, yeah. one time I was, I was uh, messing with this young lady, and my friend was like, yo, you know how I many. Dude, she been when she's a whore. I'm like, I'm a whore too. We a match made in heaven. That's it. Why not? So, we get, but, that's why I'm in virtual. I know. No, it depends on. Listen, so I the, get paid to be one. But but. <laughs> <laughs> to say, 
the thing is this right here is grown when you get older like I said older you, you, you get over that home. but younger yeah I ain't gonna lie when I was younger I was like ugh she did what you know but when you get older it's what are the tips wrong. on dating you like being an entertainer and stuff like that what what are some tips on dating you dating an entertainer yeah or just you just guys. gotta expect you know uh, to pop up on the blogs if we somewhere especially with me and be bashed and dragged for it because nobody's going to be like, oh, congratulations, you dating Peter Guns. And right. be like, oh, girl, Everyone let's look at this drama. stupid bitch dating Peter Guns with all his mess and this and that. So you just got to have thick skin. You know, if, if I went out with a young lady, I'd tell her, look, somebody catches the picture and it hits the shade room on one of these blogs, it's going to be, uh, gotta go with it's it. gonna be ugly for you and your family and your friends are going to be calling you talking about what the fuck you doing. So, you cool with that? If not, we could do a little quiet spot or go, you know. Right. So it's, it depends on who the person is. If you, cause some people are like, look, I don't want all that attention. So it just depends. Would you rather hide your significant other? Or yeah. Be, yeah. you want your private life to be private, your entertainment life? I gave the world enough of my, enough of my real life. You still I don't want to, I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to keep continuing to let people into my life and put my family I don't want to bring nobody in new and drag them and get let them get dragged like that. It takes thick skin to watch these people sit at home and, and just make these uh, statements and, just, and put this negative stuff out there about you. So, no, I wouldn't. I would not want the person that I date now to be, unless that's what she wanted. And unless right. I knew that she had the skin to deal with that and that that's what she wanted, and so be it. But what if you dated a chick and all of a sudden she was like, I want to be on Love and Hip Hop. I want to be with you on TV and stuff like that. How would that make you feel after? I've never dated someone that wanted to be on the show. Hypothetically. Never. No, never. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I've been with, with people that, you know, I've been with someone that was like, I don't want no part of that show. Right. And would just keep me away from, would stay away from everything. But um, there, there comes a time if I say I want to be a person like that and I'm still doing reality TV and they want, and then I felt like I wanted them to know I'm in a different space and this is my lady and that's what she wanted to do especially if she was into entertainment right yeah this is who I'm with and y'all can say what y'all want about it but I'm chilling and this is my lady and this is what it is but I really wouldn't want to put nobody through the shit that I've been through or, or that my kids mother's been through I would never want to do that again for me I would be scared if someone did that to me and like, let's say they're not in the entertainment industry. Like, do they really want just like fifteen seconds of fame, or like, are they with me just because of my name and status, as opposed to like just being with me? For me, that's a fear, because once once people get that, there's a saying that when somebody gets money and gets fame, then you see who they really are. Right. That humble person that's coming up. Like, yo, you know, hey, I'm humble and kissing your ass. And, they, they, you know, they're just being nice and they're the sweetest person in the world. Mm -hmm. But then they get the money and they get the fame. It changes you. Right. So they say that that's the person who you really are. So I don't want to say that couldn't happen to me. Because you might, you know, I might date a young lady. And then when she gets that fame, she might be like, you know, all these basketball players and football right. millionaires like, coming oh, out. Peter Guns? Forget it. Right. It, it could happen. But then it's just not meant to be anyway. I don't want to be with nobody like that anyway. Right. So if that happens, then so be. You just drop her. I'm just, I'm, I'm in a different space now. It used to be hard for me to let go. Now I'm like, if it ain't right, you gotta let it go. The stress is too much. I had, right, I had, like be at a peaceful state of mind now. No right. toxicity, nothing. Right. Through this, through this last COVID, I lost a lot of people. Uh, COVID, a lot of violence, some other things. It made me more in a space of don't let anything. You know, I came into this new year. My nephew got stabbed. I'm sorry. A couple of weeks ago, died, and I I refused to come into this new year letting anything bring me down. My nephew's in the urn and ashes right now. So I said that if I'm still alive and I'm breathing and I'm healthy, what can I complain about? Right. My nephew, who's supposed to be at my funeral, is dead. Breaking up a fight. It's stabbed in oh, his wow. leg. Yeah. He's, He's not in no street stuff. He was just breaking up a fight. And the knife swung wild, caught him in his, in an artery in his leg and killed him. So, oh, wow. I, but I refused. Came though. My friend just died from colon cancer. Young. That's so, why you know, like, you cherish every moment that you have. After that. And, like, 
You never take anything for granted. Right. Nothing. Some people be like, yo, you, this is going on. You're not worried about this? I ain't worried about nothing, bro. Right. I'm breathing. I'm healthy. And it's, you know, Thank God like, for that. I'm sitting in Studio Square hey. drinking some fine scotch exactly. with a We're fine young lady and <laughs> having a conversation exactly. and other people are on ventilators in the fucking hospital. What do I need to complain about? Exactly. So let me get to some fun questions. Let's do it. I'm ready. Hold on. I should have had it ready. What's the wildest thing that you have, what's the wildest thing that ever happened to you on set during the porn? I have a gang gang of 15 guys. 15? Mm-hmm. They all finished? We all finished and I had to drink it out of the martini glass. No, you didn't. I swear to God. So they all finished in the glass and you drank it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now how that work out? I made it. But hold on, you I made it. But how that work out physically? Was it okay? Because they got this shit where if, if a woman, y'all know y'all all heard that when a woman drinks, she got in a stomach pumped on. Is that true? No, no, it was fine. Don't believe the hype. Okay, it was fine. But afterwards, how much was it? Like, like how much was in there? It was fifteen. So how much? Was it? Like that much. Damn, that's like where cool. I had to take with Joe. Ah, look at all the cum I have. Yay. Yeah. Okay. I ain't mad at this shit, well, that's crazy. 15. 15. How you make 15 dudes finish? Tell them one one. Woo! Good answer. I know. I mean. Wildest place you ever did? In a club on the dance floor. Club on the dance floor. Well, it was crowded and everything. Okay. You ever had someone you couldn't handle? No. They couldn't handle me. Ooh. Okay. Told you, I'm gonna have, have, have to watch 50. You read 15 dudes <laughs> finish? Yep. That's crazy. And my family has no clue what I did. That's a good thing. Yes. Russian Jewish home? Hell yeah. So, where's your family? Here or? Yeah. Okay. My Does mom's it, in Brooklyn and my brother's in Jersey. Do any of them know what you do at all? No. No. They think I run the marketing for a show club. I'm that good. Well, I'm they just don't watch porn. No, nah, they don't watch porn. My brother's friends did. Um, yeah. hey, did they tell your brother? No. I'm going to be naive and gullible. Right, same And way. say they, like, don't ask, don't tell type of thing, and they have no clue. Because it's like, oh, hey, my, I fuck two black guys on camera at the same time. One wow. in my ass, one in my pussy. Hey, like, mama, I made it. Wow. Have you ever slept with any of your brother's friends? Keep them quiet. Thank you. Keep them quiet. Okay. And I think they kept it quiet too. Wow. They wanted to keep it going. That's what that was. Yeah, I did not. It was trash. So after the first time. Did you deal with professionals? No, but you know what? I'd rather have sex in my personal life. Because at least then I know I want it and I'm not charging you for it. That's true. And I know that the feeling's mutual and there's actually like. You know, a connection and a vibe, and I'm big on energy. As where I come into work, and it's like, oh, okay, let's fuck. Bam, bam, thank you. I'm going home. You ever been with any celebrities? I don't think so. I ain't even got to tell the name, haven't you? Yes. Okay. Drake said it's better when you hold it down. Yeah, right? I'm holding it down. I'm holding it down, (laughs) bitches. Okay. I imagine. Why, you want to be the next celebrity? Well, I'm just asking. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Call the lifeline. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, lifeline. <laughs> nah, that's dope. That's dope. Okay. Because yeah. the thing is, I know who you are. But I meant you, you know, we, we did well. I not did really. not know who I am. No, no, no. no, no. I mean, we humble. met, we, me and you were doing a podcast right. together. And when I met you, I thought you were so dope. Because what I admired about you with what we had at Studio Square was no question no one asked you didn't answer. I have and you didn't it. take no life learn. And I thought it, it reminded me of me in a way where people be like, you know, my publicist would be like, Peter, don't answer that. Right. No, y'all can't. You know, mostly somebody will come in and be like, you can't ask me these questions. Oh, okay. And I'm like, fuck that. Everything's on the table. I have nothing to hide. Well, for me, it's like, I'm an open book. You know what? Why should I hide anything? Right. Don't get me wrong. I like to keep my private life private. Right. But why should I hide anything? I've done it. I don't regret anything that I did. I lived and learned from it. So why right. should I hide anything? Do you have a boyfriend? No. 
So in your past, when you had a boyfriend, he understood that you were doing adult. It's hard to be in a relationship and in my industry. But have you ever had a boyfriend that had to deal with you being an adult? Of course, industry? and they took advantage. It was just hard because they try to like change me and try to like get me out of the industry. Right. But I'm like, this is how you met me. Right. Unless you want to take care of me and play sugar daddy and all that. Right. I mean, let me go get my money. Yeah, right. like because. For me, I don't like relying on anybody. I got you. So you did what you had to do. Yeah. Have Have you ever been with a man that tried to put you on his his friends or try to put you with other people? I did when I was younger. Right. And I was with him for nine years, the worst mistake of my life. And you live and learn. Got you. Do so, re, Do you regret this adult industry at all? Anything? I don't. Okay. Because you know what? It opened up doors for me, like doing this. Right. And honestly, I met great people along the way, like you. Right. That's so, really cool. yeah. you know what? And we're all human. Like, you could, uh, someone could call me a whole, but at least I'm getting paid for what you do for free. I got that part of it. Yeah. But do you ever feel like, 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 um, demonized, like, y'all yeah, taking advantage of a woman? In this industry, only reason I'm asking for it, in this industry. So, if you were the 15 guys, do you ever feel like, no, it too. was my choice. I have the option of saying no. Okay. So, and I chose to do it. In your, in, in good answer. Okay. So, why not? Okay. I feel like this is not my show anymore. <laughs> no, I'm, this is, oh, a, I love this it. is great. This is great. We're running with it. Yeah. No, nah, this is off the record. This is off the record. Because I don't know. Listen, I literally, I promise you, people be like, Peter, why haven't you? But so when I, so, in all reality, yeah. like, I had so many girls be like, oh, you're a slut, you're a hoe, and stuff like right. that. I'm like, the only difference about what I do is the fact that it's out in the open. Uh, absolutely. Like, a lot of girls fuck guys for a free drink to get into a club or anything like that. What makes you any different than me? Yeah. Or actually, how are you not worse than me? Right. Because at least I'm being out in the open and you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm making money off it. I'm monetizing off it and everything. What are you doing? And at least I'm getting tested. I still pay taxes like everybody else. Right. Some girls don't even know what a test is. Mm. So, being that you shared that, let me share some things with you. From a very young age, I had three older brothers that was on drugs. And they were running around in these drug addicts. My mother was running around behind them. Some of the situations that I was left in, like my mother would be like, hey, watch Peter. My little or whatever the case might be, right. there might have been things that happened in those circumstances. So from a very young age, I was never, um, there was always older women. Right. Fucking them. So you like older women, like over younger women? No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, I, I was already exposed to sex at such a young age that I was already... I didn't look at porn or anything because I already I had access to. You already experienced oh, that it. Experience. So you don't jerk off to porn, nothing. I, I don't. And people don't believe that. Never have. I don't so watch. Do you jerk off to? I don't jerk off. If I want to have, if I want to come, I call. And you want from your butt, like. I have sex. <laughs> <laughs> I've, that's just been my thing. So jerking off never, never was my thing. So the reason why I told you I don't really watch porn. Right. It's not my thing. I'm, I'm not into watching other men and shit like that. Not saying that. Look, it's the biggest industry. I get Sex it. Sex sells. It'll never go out of, like, even with the shutdown, even with COVID, nothing. And for the most part, I get it. And some people, it keeps their relationships tight. They don't have to go out. They just jerk off or whatever. But I'm just saying, just for curiosity for myself, and I'm not bragging about that. I think it's fucked up, actually. Okay. I wish I had jerk off. I wish I wasn't running around when I was off. So you regret a lot of things that you did? Yeah, absolutely. I think that if I had a normal, if things were normal, maybe, you know, sometimes I, the man that could jerk off and get his shit off looking at the woman like you, it's like, so so he's looking at you do your thing. Right. He jerks off, gets his shit off, and goes to work. He's not thinking about cheating or doing that. He got right. his own. He fucked the woman of his life. Do you life consider that him. cheating, though, like watching porn? No. No, I think that's a beautiful thing. I, I wish I was that dude. What that could be like a jerk. Girls only fans. Is that cheating? No. Really? But it's I understand a woman I understand a woman being jealous of that. 
Because if my lady was to go on the OnlyFans and watch it and say, I'm on the OnlyFans because I just want to watch him jerk his big dick, I would be like, what the fuck did you do? Double standard again. Right. But honestly speaking, I think that if you just, if, if you're watching porn and you're handling your business from watching porn, that's not, that's not cheap. That's you, that's you preventing yourself from cheap. You know what I mean? Okay. So no, no, I, I don't believe that. that. I don't believe that. But if I was dating you, I would absolutely need to stop doing it. I would have to be like, yo, we, whatever well, it takes. Well, it's a good thing I retired. Not, yeah, it's good. <laughs> and I'm sure you don't mind me doing this. No, not at all. I love it. You could be my co-host. Yeah, yeah. I love Let's it. do it. Damn, 15 dudes. You're never going to get over that, huh? No, that's crazy. 15? It happened years ago. Don't worry. Before I knew you. On tape? On tape. I need to see it then. I'm about to watch that. I'm sure Pornhub has it somewhere. They do. <laughs> oh, they do? <laughs> and they nut it in a cup? In a cup. And you drink it? I drink it. Like it was water. Uh, woo! <laughs> shit! <laughs> My brother just said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop snorting. <laughs> nah, it's all right. Listen, we keep it in the buck. That's exactly. I mean. All right. Listen, that's why you got your own show. That's why we here. That's what we do. That's why I got you. You're in the building. Yes. Here we go. I was waiting for these. I knew they were coming. Oh, yeah? I knew it was coming. Let's see. What's the wildest thing you've ever done to get someone's attention? Pull my joint out. Pull my little man out. In public? No. no. <laughs> Do tell. I hung a towel over my joint one time to get somebody's attention. Did it work? She wasn't paying me no mind, so I put the towel over. Yeah. And you smashed after? Nah, but she was impressed though. I bet she was. <laughs> I'm going to get killed for that one, but it's true. That's okay. Welcome to Love and Love. What are the, uh, why do men cheat? I don't have the complete answer for that, but if I can only answer for myself. Mm -hmm. Women are beautiful. And they come in all colors, shapes, and sizes. And, you know, I'm not a person that has a type. I just love beautiful women. And that, I can only speak for myself. The hardest thing I ever had to do in life was be faithful. If my, if they said stop drinking, I could put my mind to it and stop drinking. I could stop smoking. Women was the hardest thing for me to stop. It, what about it's cheating. Now? It's, 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 I'm a work in progress, but I'm, a, I'm way better than I used to be. You're I'm a lover. Yeah, I lover. Mean, I mean, I think it comes with age. Testosterone levels drop. Kids get older and you're like, damn, your daughter's coming to you with problems with a dude that's just like you. And you're like, this motherfucker, but I can't say nothing to him because he's just like me. So, you know, that, that I think... Um, I can only speak for myself. Women are beautiful. It's hard. It's a hard thing. God damn it. Hi. Hey. Where's the weirdest place you've had sex in? On the train. Back of the two trains. What? Do tell. I wanted, back in the days, I wanted to have sex in. I wanted, I'm a dude that was so wild. I wanted to do something everywhere. And one, and one day, coming from the movies, the train was empty. And I was like, come on. Did people get on eventually? They got on. It wasn't. It was. I didn't get the finish, but I, I got the start, and I can say that I, I definitely had me a little fun on the back of the two trains. So you like that, like wild, like I used to. You had that I'm more conservative now. <laughs> but yeah, I used to like to do the wildest, the wildest things, and I would think that would be the wildest thing. Are you I did the elevators. I did everything. Really? But the train was the was the train was the, the work. The cars. I'm sure you did. Yeah, because that must have not been comfortable. It's it's. Part. Pissy, it's a lot of stops, and you know it's hard to be aroused in that kind of. <laughs> Stupid. Are you a tits man or an ass man? Both, but if I was to, if if oh man, with a gun in my Welcome eyes, both man, laughs. it could go, it could go either way for me. Oh, good, cause I got the tits, no ass, but I got the tits. Yeah, okay. I, mean, <laughs> I had a saying back in the days: I'd fuck a pig if it wouldn't squeal. No, I'm just playing. That's a joke. Okay, go for it. Oink, oink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Go for sex it. Sex toys during sex. Are they your friend or your enemy? Hmm? 
Sex toys. Are they friends or your enemies? Are enemies, them? man. Really? Yeah. Why? I used to get jealous of um, this pink little oh, toy. The, uh, One of my exes had a little pink little toy she used to play with. And rub it in my face. You didn't come through last night, so I had to use this. Oh, no. Oh, so that's what traumatized you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not into toys. I'm all you need. <laughs> that's a fact. Have you ever thought about how many thrusts it takes for you to come? Like, how many looks it takes to get to the tootsie roll? Hold on, say that again. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. What Have you, you ever thought about how many thrusts it takes for you to come? Thrust? Yeah. It's up to me. Look how serious his face got. All no, 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 no. I didn't understand what you were saying. But it's up to me. What do you mean? I can actually say, what are we doing? This is a quick three pumper or are we going for the... What are we doing? And I, it's up to me. So do you like quickies or, you know, make love or... Medium. So... Much rather... I'm much rather like in the middle. This is get to know Peter Guns in a different way. Yeah, I think I could get I, I could get things done in a in a in a in a in a in a nice amount of time where it's not like yo, god damn, he's still on me and or damn that was that that quick it's over. So I'm so totally mental loads, by the way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I could get it done we could get it done in a nice amount of time where we both have. And that's when that's the time I like. I don't if quickies are great when you like look I gotta go. When you but, don't have time or anything. Right, but I need one, please it'll make me feel better. Me, you know that's cool. And then if we have one of those nights where we just want to just chill and enjoy one another, then we can have the marathon. But I like the medium, right in the middle where it's like not too long, not too short. What's and, the longest time you've had sex? <sighs> you brought, you brought yourself. I never the timed it, but I one. How I got songs. Let's ask that. I'm sure you listen to songs while having sex. I got my little playlist I put <laughs> together. Depends on what it is. I put the reggae with the strobe light. It's over. That's Bing it. Bong. It's a rap from Bing there. Bong. I'm going hard. I'm going hard. Nah. But yeah, so you know, it depends on the, you know, and you will know that by the, whatever, whatever the music I put on, you'll know what time it is. If so you hear Dr. Dre, music, come on. Boom. That's doom, it. Doom, 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 doom. If you hear trap doom. music, it's a quickie. Yeah, but if you hear some nineties, I'm coming in with the Thames butt neck and we gonna it's gonna be something else. But if we if we make it love, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be some Luther Vandross. I'm old school. Oh, I old like that. School. Is Deja Vu in your playlist? That's when we gangsta fuck. We got a gangsta list. We gonna gangsta. How do you gangsta fuck? Put the Thames on and <laughs> Oh yeah. Snoop Doggy. Yeah. Oh, I like that song. So let's see. What is more intimate to you, kissing or head? Kissing. I agree, but why? Um, just if I if I share a kiss with you, that's really I don't kiss everybody, so that's really an intimate thing for me. Kissing is intimate, but I'd be a liar to I love head. So if the girl doesn't give you head on the, like the first time when you're fucking. Is that a deal breaker no, for you? No, not at all. Not at all. It, 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 every woman ain't gonna do that. What I'll if she doesn't believe in giving head at all? Yeah, that's a deal breaker. You're just gonna be like, bye, bitch. No, nah, yeah. I mean, because I like, I like to to do it as well. I like okay. to reciprocate. So, yeah, I love to do it. So, what yeah, no, that's a deal breaker. What are tips on going down on a girl? Mm-hmm. What are tips on going down on a girl? Because I'm sure you make a girl come. You I have just, those lips. I just copy. <laughs> I have to copyright my shit before I tell you about it. I have to Don't copyright worry, my moves. Don't <laughs> I tell, tell you nobody. About <laughs> but I will tell fellas this. I'll give you yes, this. Yes, please. Give Stay on the clip. All that other That's extra a shit fact. you're doing. That's a fact. That's for you. Do you think you're doing some fancy shit? Stay on the clip. When, when I feel like they're breaking my pussy, I'm like, oh don't go my too, god! Don't suck too hard. Don't suck no. too hard. Yeah, stay on the clip. Okay. Let's see. If she's riding, well, don't. You... Uh-uh. Huh? No, go he's ahead, going. Ahead. If she's riding it from the back and there's a piece of tissue in her ass, would you tell her or just let her rock? I just plucked that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's tissue. It's all good. So if. It's... So you wouldn't think she's dirty or nothing? Nah. Now if I saw a doodle crumb. 
<laughs> Game over, baby. That's you got to jump in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Tissue, is, it happens to the best of us. I'm going to pluck that off. I wouldn't even let her know. Really? Pop, that used to be part so of it. So you're not a creep at all. No. You're but, a nice oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You oh, wait, like hold up. The creep squad comes Real it in, real it in. <laughs> if I met a stuck-up woman, I would, I would point out a flaw in a minute. Oh, to make her feel even worse about it. Right, if I say, hey, beautiful, you, you're beautiful, and she has not be love. Look. You got a tissue in your fucking no, eyes? No, 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 no. <laughs> We're not even having sex. I just met you. I'm like, look, I wasn't trying to distract you, but you got a little bullet in your nose. Yeah, I'll get it for you. I'll put a tissue in there. That's actually not bad. Do I really have to Right, really now she's down to earth. <laughs> now I just brought you down to earth. You thought I was trying to holler at you. I was just trying to tell you how to book in your nose. I really was trying to holler at you, but when I saw you was arrogant, I was like, like well, no, I'm not trying to holler at you, but you really too beautiful to have that fucking web in your nose. Wipe your nose. Here. Here's a tissue. Oh, you got oh, one thank in your hand? So now, guess what? Now me and you got a little secret. Booger nose. And now I'm like, hey, you know, oh, you're looking good. And, and, and guess what? It's changed the mood a lot of times. Then they're back. You gotta humble there. these pretty chicks that think they all that sometimes. Guys are the same way, though. Oh. There are some guys that like, Think that they're God's gifts, and to the you gotta world. do the same thing. Just oh, hand that nigga. Yes. You know what you do? Say, ah. Eh, You're way you too go. fine. Put that in your mouth. Your breath smells like somebody punched you in your mouth with shit on their fist. A hundred percent. They most of them do. So I mean, that's what you do. Did you ever come to get yourself out of a bad mood? All the time. What do you mean all the time? You're never in a happy mood. No, no. If I, <laughs> I, I think, I think sex really is the. It, it really like relaxes you. It really brings you down. Here's a funny story. Somebody was telling me, "Do you like happy endings?" I was like, "No, I like happy beginnings. I like Wait. to come before I get a massage." Really? Why is that? It relaxes me. Cause if I'm if I'm sitting there getting a massage, all I'm thinking about is the happy ending. Right. My dick is hard. Like, can we skip the fucking muscle rubbing and get to the the, 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 the rub off? So I rather get the happy ending at the beginning, so I can relax and enjoy my massage. That's me. But go ahead. Next question. Next question. Is sex the most important thing in a relationship? Yes. 100%. Really? Not personality, nothing? All of that is beautiful. But see, the difference between all of that other stuff, if the sex ain't good, everything is out the window. That's true. If y'all not having sex, that's why when people be like, yeah, she don't like to have sex with me, or, or the girl's like, he don't have sex with me. I tell fellas this. Men seem to think... When the women don't want to have sex, if, if you're not sleeping with her, right, the same thing. And, but and that's why people cheat too. Of course. And I tell guys all the time: get yourself together, be in shape, be look good. Right. No matter if you got the girl, act like you still act are trying to get the girl. Absolutely. You the want you're, y'all laying in the bed way, watching Chris Brown with his fucking six pack doing all this and that. You coming out the bathroom, fucking looking crazy, naked. And she looking at Chris Brown or all these, or, 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 or all these other... The girls let themselves go too after a while. And it's well, like, that too. For me, like... Keep yourself up. Exactly. Take care of your... Take, take, take care. I don't have... Listen, I don't want people... Because people will take this interview and go, Peter Gunn's giving a relationship advice. That's not That's what I'm okay. doing. Get relationship advice from you. All I'm saying is you have to... You have to be good in that department or it's a recipe for disaster. Most relationships are together when it's like that because of bills. And I don't want to go to court. And I don't want to give up child support. I don't want to have to give my alimony. So the, the way to keep things good is, is to just stay with them. No, don't do that. You know, so, so I talked to... That's what makes it worse, actually. I talked to older men recently. Oh, that, really? And they told me just plan stuff out with your lady. But you're 21. So. Nah, I'm old. <laughs> but they just plan them out, plan it out. Yeah, this day we doing this, this day we doing that, this day we doing this. We going away on this day, and you know, just make it fresh again. And y'all enjoy it. Um, if the sex thing, if y'all not having sex and it's not there, somebody's gonna have sex with somebody else. Or they both are gonna have sex with somebody else. Cause yeah. women cheat. I believe that women cheat because they're not happy. Cause they like we're emotional. I agree. Men cheat because they think with their dicks and not with their minds. I agree. You wouldn't get me to, you we're would, on the same never, page. You would never to get me to argue with you. With you on that, I think that um, I think women are better at being with just one person. It's us that that uh. But nowadays, girls are savages too. 
Yeah, nowadays it's a new generation. When I when I listen, me and Cardi B got into it one time, and I was like, that was my wake up call. That it's a different generation, and it's a different way of thinking, and and it woke me up to a lot of things. It woke me like up. what? It woke me up. I mean, what that did for me was wake me up to what I'm doing on TV. She was right, you know. It made me look at that. But the other side of it is, if if we have sex, I want to be taken care of and. Yeah, obviously. And I was like, oh, shit. You know, I thought the wifey was the one to get taken care of. And if me and you popping, it is what it is for tonight. And you know, whatever we do tonight. So I learned through my nieces and through through that situation with Cardi that there's a new generation that's like, nah, nigga, same thing. Same thing right. for y'all, same thing for us. I want to be. And that's what it is. Now, just in, in the way I think now... Older is just like try to figure it out with who you with, man. Just try to figure it out. Um, I used to be a person that said that it wasn't meant for men to be with this one woman. Okay. That was a thing that was put on us just to 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 um. Made for men by women. Is that what? No, nah, it, it, I don't know what the what, what I'm looking for. But back in the days, men had multiple women, and it was all right. So even my even polygamy? I'm talking about even with my dad and my uncles and his dad. Right. There was always other women. So, do you believe in polygamy? I don't. I don't know. Do you know? <laughs> I know what it is. I don't know because so, so here's the, here's the here's the back end to that. I wouldn't accept you being with other men. But it's okay for you to be with other women. Right. How is that fair? So that's why that's why I don't, it's a double standard. That's why it's hard to believe in that. You see, you see what I'm saying? Right. But what about sister wives type of thing? No. Nah, and most people say Peter Guns, you and that sister wife. No, nah, I'm not with that either. So if either one of Tyra or Mina, let's call it what it right. is, if either one of them was cool with me mm-hmm. doing me, I would feel like this is gonna sound real crazy. I'm about to get killed. If my girl or my wife was cool with me messing with other women, I don't think that she could possibly love me. Really? Nah. So you like the toxic shit, basically. I don't like it toxic. So you, like, because they found out about each other. Yeah. Like, that shit was really I didn't like that, but I, but I think that if a woman go, so, hey, babe, I'm about to leave. Where you going? I'm about to go fuck Sabrina. I'll be back tomorrow about three. And she's okay And you say, okay, it. okay, baby, all right, just come back. Huh? Make sure you put on the condom. That shit is weird and fucked up and crazy. But what if she says, let me join in? It depends on who it is. If it's your wife and then your girlfriend nah, nah, says, nah, nah, let me wife, join in. My wife, I would, I would be like, nah, she, 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 she can't possibly. To me, my wife can't watch me mess with fuck another woman and be cool with that. True story. Please. Disclaim. This isn't fiction. I've had a situation with a real woman in my life we driving home and she says hey it's one of my kids mothers okay. it's not Tara or Amina okay Put that you out. don't need to name them friend calls her and was like hey I wanna um, what, y- what you doing I'm with Peter we give her can I watch and she yeah. says Peter my friend wants to watch can- is it cool oh she was okay with it and I said if you're cool with it I'm cool with it she came through and she watched How'd you feel about that? I didn't believe it. This person would never like that kind of situation. <laughs> right? Was she drunk? <laughs> nah, we was chilling. And then, and yeah, maybe we might have been drunk. I don't want to say that. We drinking. And uh, she came through and she watched and then she wanted to join in. So did you put in. on a show knowing that somebody's watching? Like, Fucking right. <laughs> like, I took all the bells and whistles. Peter got I got all, I pulled out all my stuff. All the angles, the fucking... I got my name, my moves. I did look my no hands. I did the short shit. Mama, attention. look, I made it. I did all my moves. No, nah, but the thing was, uh, so, so, uh, after it all went down and she was impressed she got involved a little bit. Okay. Things never were the same between me and the jealousy my factor. Oh, it was like I can't believe you did that, the crying and yeah. But that's why like I believe you should never have a threesome with a friend. Like your girl's friend. Because at the end of the day it never works. 
I don't think you should have a threesome with your girl and nobody. I think you should keep whatever you and your girl got between you and her. But if it's like just a side chick or a random chick, then it's okay. I don't know. I, you know, like if you, I if you, know. if my lady came to me and said, I want you to watch something, I want to do something, I want to watch something. Maybe that. But I think that if you get involved and you, if you don't just let them do them and you, and they doing this for you and you get involved, I want to be in this too, then I think that's a recipe for disaster. But just if my she said, opinion. I want to like have sex, let's say with you or Rich Dallas, you would say, no, absolutely not. Not my, not my girl. Side chick. Yes, yeah, we can do that. Oh, really? Because it's a totally different feeling. Oh, my side, side. So let me ask you, can a side chick ever become a main chick for yeah. you? Yeah, all side chicks become main chicks. Really? Yeah. Because a lot of The chick that you... The woman that you see on the side of your wife is the woman you really want to... You, you feel like this is the woman you really want to... This is the fun one. This is the one I want to be with. Until they don't turn fun anymore? Until, until you get <laughs> the wifey and then you were her and then, then you're like, damn, what, the, what did I do? But, or, it does turn out to be okay. But, listen, man, I, I might get killed for this, but most, you keep saying but a that. lot of, no, because I get, people bash me for when I, I tell the truth. Right. People don't like the truth. A, I respect A, a lot truth, of the main women were side women in the first place. I'm telling you what I know. But a lot of chicks that, that become the, the main chick was the side chick in the first place. But don't you fear that, like, to, if you're going out, let's say, let's say, okay, babe, I'm going out. In the back of their mind, they're gonna be like, oh, if he cheated on me, he's gonna, like, if he cheated on with me, he's gonna cheat on me. No, but some people think you could you could look at it that way. But some if you be in a position where you think she ain't like me, if she right. was more like me, he would just be with her. It's a it's a mental thing. You know what I'm saying? And. and He's showing you all the different stuff. And then he's complaining about the shit with her that's bothering him. Pillow talking, telling you all the shit that's wrong with her. Mm -hmm. To you, I'm telling you from experience. And I'm telling you from what I'm hearing from other men. I'm not saying every woman. I'm just saying that that a lot of times that women end up being the main chick. Uh, It was a side chick. They end up being the main chick because they're the fun one. Do they stop being fun though? Sometimes that that it becomes you the one and that's it. And then sometimes it becomes you becoming the side chick. And people go, what did you expect, chick? You got him? Right. The way you got him? Karma's a bitch, yeah. basically. I don't believe in that, though. Because you know what? I believe that everything happens for a reason. And you never know where you're going to meet somebody. But that thinking, thinking right there. Gets that in thinking, <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. I, I don't believe in it. I believe it was just meant to be. That's right. the shit. You know what I mean? But it's just, like I said, it's a mental thing. And I can't explain it. This is years and years and years and years. And history will show different. You know what I mean? And and, and some religions, you can have as, as many wives as you could take care of. Right. There's well, a reason for that. So you believe in, like, you no, know, the believe. Arabic ways? Like, nah. seven wives in heaven and stuff? I wanna and tell everything? you. I'm going to tell you something crazy. People always go to the religion thing for me. I'm, I'm not even a religious person. I believe now at my age that whatever you put out there is what comes to you. Like, yo, right. just try to be a good person. Don't let religion or nothing tell you to be a good person or do that. I've done a lot of reckless stuff. So when I tell people I'm not religious, they be like, oh, that's why. You're an atheist or that you're an agnostic. But most people would think that's why. But now I'm in a stage now at my age, just try to do the right thing. Like, I... Something simple as like, say if I left my shit, somebody left their shades here. Right. They give it back. Hand it back. Somebody dropped a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Yo, dude, you dropped your money. Right. You, I would never be comfortable going. Oh, he dropped his money. And putting it Let me take it because I believe karma's such a bitch. Not know? even just karma, just just just, a, just a good, even but if there's no, even in my heart, right. I believe that like, right. oh my god, I'm not right. able to do that. It's not mine. It comes a time for that. Now, the only thing I haven't been able to do that with is women in relationship. Other stuff, I'm like a top notch citizen. But when it comes to women, I've always been like, just this. Like, ah. And it's but are with, you honest now though? I'm I'm a lot better than I used to be, and the problem with it is is that men don't want to see their lady with another man. Right. So when women be like, "Yo, you lied to me, you're the worst," it's not. It's just that I don't want to see no other dude with you. When like another guy, broken up. So, when your girl, when a woman is with another man, we feel like it's 
She's been tainted in a way. I know, listen, I got my older brothers are like, yo, if my wife slept with another man, no matter what they have done, right. it would be a situation where I couldn't be with her no more. That's his. That's his now. Yeah. Wow, that's fucked up. That's the difference between, but women eat so much. and that, You know, I feel bad. Women take so much and they're and they still trying to stick through it. But a man couldn't even, we can't handle it. Ooh, we can't handle the thought of another man. See the weak sides. The weak side. Last question. Go for it. Tips on date. What are the tips on dating you? Peter Guns. You gotta like music. Okay. I don't you know gotta anybody love that music. doesn't love music. You gotta be spontaneous. You gotta love movies. I'm a movie buff. What's your favorite genre? Oh, uh, drama. Me too. I love dramas. I love I love a lot, a lot of different movies. That's I why do. you're the host of Cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> I love dramas. I love all type of movies. I'm just a movie buff. And I love to go to the movies. I'm not like, that's why this COVID thing had me twisted. Because I'm a movie goer. Okay. But I love movies. I love that. And I just be spontaneous. And that's it. Just have I understand a your free lifestyle. spirit. Just free spirit. The lifestyle, it comes with the territory. You know, that's all. Where could people find you? Uh, Peter Guns 174 Instagram uh, same thing on Twitter I am Peter Guns on Twitter actually and, and that's it and Studio Square Studio Square I'm a, I'm, I'm a fixture in Studio Square uh, thank you so much you already know love you oh, I love proud you, you more I am so proud of you cheers to that I'm about and to that's smell for fresh you. And yes and that's for you too thank you let's pour up Thank you, Studio Studio Square. I really appreciate y'all for being. I'm gonna drink too much. I'm pulling the top off for some. Congratulations on your show. Congratulations. I'm here. I'm gonna fix. I need to be with on cheaters with you. I like that. Let's do it. Don't try me with a good time. Oh